Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. You were a second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people had their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... Hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? There. Set us down at this nav point.
dawned. Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. <laughs> Your company. Our relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those ket? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up, maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Hehe. <laughs> a warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. We better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Special Requisition All-Terrain Scout Rover. A Nomad! Six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need! I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. Connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. 
This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back off, or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs. <sighs> All right, time to get off. Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. Was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. Not bad. My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as Petey. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All Remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You're sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here. Take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Do it before there's any more cat. you.
Yeah, guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? <laughs> My name's Scott Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Checking out these monoliths? The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You said I didn't save any for you? Nexus know shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. <laughs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy cat presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. It is karma. Notice that? More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. which we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Forming a bridge. As 
find out how solid it is. No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. How far down do you think it goes? Air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! Acting <laughs> like a gravity well. But where is it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like it. Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Another gravity well. And... That's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. My god. All this for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be...
Wilson is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Port restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! We have to be more careful. That field almost disintegrated us. But it didn't. You want to focus on that or the cool vault you just activated? Atmosphere processor is online, recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere, or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your book. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well? Fun. You're telling me. <laughs> you can really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great.
This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. I'm choosing this outpost's direction for decades. Maybe centuries. That is the prime responsibility of a Pathfinder. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. The reality, Ryder? You bought us time, but one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. 
Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Thank you.